Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. In this episode, we're going to take a look at uh, Stranger Things. We're now, what, 20 days at si uh, time of recording? 20 days away from uh, the, the premiere of season four, or the first half of it. Uh, and we're going to look at an article in Screen Rant, uh, which is sort of saying that this season four is going to fix the big mistake of season three. I think what they're referring to is the fact that they moved away from the sort of the Gormagon story and all that and went down the, the personal lives of the children or young adults as they are now. Uh, whereas season four is going darker back into the story um, and back into the upside down. Uh, so anyway, we'll take, uh, take a look at this article and discuss. Uh, so this is the piece in question. It's in Screen Rant. Uh, and the headline is saying what I've just said. Stranger Things Season 4 is already fixing Season 3's worst mistake. The Stranger Things Season 4 trailer reveals a lot and suggests that one of Season 3's biggest mistakes is finally being fixed by Netflix. Now, I've uh, posted the trailer. Uh, you can see that. There's um, a link in the in, in, in my video, uh, in the description of my video, uh, that takes you to the official trailer. Um, and it's very good. After you've watched this one, go see it. Um, but it just helps build the excitement. The excitement is mounting. Um, I can't wait. Like I say, it's less than three weeks to go. Yippee-i-a. Won't finish that line. Uh, Stranger Things Season 4's newest trailer hints that the series is fixing one of the biggest issues present in Season 3. The previous season sees the child cast enter a more mature age bracket and it focuses more heavily on their personal lives and relationships. The season four trailer hints that the show is going back to its roots as Eleven, Mike, Wheeler, Luke, Lewis, uh, Lucas Sinclair and all the other main characters all return for the new season this summer. And they are, I mean, it's much darker. The, like I said, the trailer is very dark. It's got uh, a new big bad in it. Um, humanoid, scary, looks great. Absolutely looks great. The Stranger Things kids start off as young children in season one, but they quickly grow into teenagers, and with their growth spurts being particularly noticeable in season three. This season also sees Mike and Eleven develop their romantic relationship, while Eleven enjoys a close friendship with Max Mayfield. Mad Max, we do like her. Uh, this unfortunately leaves Will Byers feeling excluded, as he still wants to play Dungeons and Dragons. He was the youngest member, um, and at the end of it, you were seeing the kids were all sort of growing up into sort of into their teens and that, whereas Will was still the boy, still the child, you know. He was left being left behind a little bit. Um, the series also focuses less on the mystery of the Mind Flayer and the Upside Down than seasons one and two until its final few episodes. It concludes as the kids and the adult cast, inclu including uh, Jim Hopper and Joyce Byers, team up to take on the Flayed, which transform into the vile spider monster. Uh, which I thought was excellent there, the Battle of Starcourt. Uh, go watch season three again. If you haven't watched it at all, go watch it. I mean, if you haven't watched it at all, go back to the beginning and watch everything. Um, otherwise, just go back and watch season three again just to get you in the mood and get, the, get you up to speed on the story with season four. Uh, the trailer for Stranger Things season four hints that the series will return to its darker roots, sidelining the teen romance plot that came to define season three. The new trailer shows off a haunted house as a major setting, suggesting that the show will once again pay homage to its classic horror stories by Stephen King. Uh, yeah, and uh, who owns the house? None other than Robert England. Um, and uh, again, you see here, you see the uh, in the trailer, he's looking great. He's getting old now, isn't he? But he's looking good in it. Though elements of King's work are present in season three, the foreboding tone of the new trailer suggests that seasons th uh, Strange Things season four will put Eleven Mike and the rest of the gang through a far more horrifying trial than they endured last season. It does look so dark. It looks absolutely scary, and I am loving it. Colour plays a major role in the way that the series cements its tone. Stranger Things Season 3 featured Starcourt Mall as its main setting, a shopping mall lit with neon colours, complemented by bright sailor outfits worn by Steve Harrington and Robin Buckley. Season 4 seems to return to the dingier colour palette of Seasons 1 and 2. Yeah, Season 3 was the most 80s of all the seasons. I mean, I remember the time. It was like that. They they nailed it. The, the mid-80s were so bright, so colourful, so fun. Oh, the, the nostalgia, man. The nostalgia for it. 
I mean, it was the it was the the years that fashion forgot because nobody cared. Being bright, being bright was all that mattered. You know, it was just great. Season four, as I said, seems to return to the dingy colour palette of seasons one and two, which are clearly influenced by Stephen King stories like The Shining, as well as films made by John Carpenter and Steven Spielberg. The haunted house in season four trailer is particularly reminiscent of the Myers house from Carpenter's Halloween. The season of Vecna, the new antagonist of Se uh, Stranger Things Season 4, also hints that the series is going to be in a darker direction. While Season 3's villain, the spider monster, was frightening, it lacked much on-stream connection to the Upside Down and offered little information about the hellish world. Additionally, while the spider monster resembled a pint-sized Keiju monster with no goal but to feed and grow, Vecna appears to be more intelligent. Uh, a threat that could pose an immense challenge, especially now that Eleven has lost her psychic powers. Spoiler, she gets them back. As an intelligent monster, it may connect more obviously to the Mind Flayer and help explain the mysteries of the Upside Down. Overall, Stranger Things Season 4 looks to be focusing on the Upside Down and the horror-inspired elements of the previous season, fixing Season 3's obsession with romantic relationships. Yeah, but... If we're going to be any kind of reality to it, they, those sort of things would happen anyway. Um, so you've got maybe, you know, I think maybe it was a little overdone, but you have to admit it was part of the story. It was okay. I still love season three. It started off bright, but it ended dark, uh, and that's how it should be. And now, three years later, season four. And like I say, I for one cannot wait. Excitement mounts. Indeed. Wearing me t-shirt. Um, so, if uh, if you're as excited as I am, roll on. See you in 20 days. We'll be watching the same show at the same time. I'll come up now, finish the video. Yeah, um, I don't necessarily 100% agree with the article because I don't think that the, the relationship side of it was a, a problem. Um, you want the, the characters to be three-dimensional. You want them to be real. They're going to have personal lives, real interactions, relationships. This is what happens. This is this is life. Um, so maybe it was a little overdone. Maybe there wasn't enough sort of exposition on the un upside down. But I don't think it was a major problem. And if that's the worst you can say about the series so far, um, it's not bad, is it? But uh, we, we do know that the, the fourth season that's coming up now is much, much darker. It's more fright, fear, threat. You know, it's, it's darker. Um, they're returning to more horror, I think. And that can only be a good thing. Um, I reckon there's going to be a lot of Easter eggs. So we'll have to keep our eyes open for that. Uh, because you're just going to generally have things in the background scenes or be a throwaway line things like that um and it'll be it'll be there because you certainly saw it in the you know previously this if you're looking like the posters in the background and there'll be uh, there was an et poster and there was a stranger not stranger things folks you idiot uh, there was the thing poster and things like that so there was all these little uh, sort of nods to um the genre um and its roots effectively um and things like that they, they're very pleasing on the eye um, and then they're going to move and shivvy the story along back down to the upside down back to the threat the sort of real sort of threat that's underlying and underpinning everything um, but there'll still be room for relationships and I mean you, you're going to have people who want certain things to happen or don't want certain things to happen as, you know we're talking about the fans here um, and that's fine uh, I'm not a shipper or in any way but I kind of think that there'll be certain pairings um, of a you know, a romantic nature will certainly occur. Um, I don't want to sort of say who, because otherwise that makes me a shipper. But you know exactly who I mean. Um, they'll, they'll undoubtedly form a relationship. Uh, if not at the end of season four, then I think as a fine at the end of season five, if they don't kill one or other of them off, um, it's Joyce and Hopper. It's Joyce and Hopper. Uh, they'll, they'll probably have a, end up having a relationship. Um, Mike and Eleven will undoubtedly be a relationship. Um, Dustin's got, I can't remember her name, but Dustin's got the, the, the Mormon girl. But, you know, who, end, who will Max be with? You know, 
It's it's just great. It's just great. It's all part of it. Anyway, um, I shall round off here. I shall contain my excitement. Uh, I have jobs to do that will pass the time because every hour now is an hour nearer to the, the premiere. So if you like what you see in here on the channel, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications of future output. Leave a like, leave a comment. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and goodbye.